Hello, nice to meet you again, and welcome to Cantonese of Canto Radio and Television Station. Let's start today. Chairman of Canto City People's Committee, who is social chairman of Canto Emulation and Commendation Council, chair a meeting of the state level commendation council for organizations and individuals in the field of education and training. A workshop on We Love City communication campaign towards the goal of a green city took place. The 12 National Defense Security Education Sports Games for Students officially ended. Top news. On the morning of September 19, Mr. Trung Vik Chung, Chairman of Kantar City People's Committee, who is also Chairman of Kantar Emulation and Commendation Council, chair a meeting of the state level Commendation Council for organizations and individuals in the field of education and training. The meeting reported some results of emulation work in nine months of the year and tasks for the remaining months. As a result, in the emulation cluster of five centrally run cities in 2021, only Gangtha City received the Certificate of Merit from the Prime Minister. In this third session, the City Emulation and Commendation Council will conduct the state-level commendation review for individuals and organizations in the education sector. Accordingly, the City's Board of Emulation and Commendation has received 21 dossiers from agencies, units and localities requesting state-level commendations for 144 cases. Also on the morning of September 19, a workshop on We Love City communication campaign towards the goal of a green city took place. This is the following activity after Kentucky City excellently entered the final round of one Blinding City Challenge, or OBCC. The workshop was jointly organized by the Institute of Meritology, Hydrology, and Climate Change, Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, a work right from Vietnam and Qatar City. The purpose is to communicate to the community Vietnam's climate change response activities at COP26. At the same time, we shall call for support for activities to respond to climate change in Qatar City in particular and Vietnam in general. Attending and delivering a speech, standing Vice Chairman of Qatar City People's Committee Yung Tung Hing said that the workshop had important meaning and through that call for the contribution, cooperation and sharing of the government localities, the local community, businesses community, as well as the support from domestic and foreign organizations, proactive solutions, positive actions, solidarity and cooperation to overcome the challenges of climate change in order to address Vietnam's goal at the COP26 conference, as well as have Kanta City achieve the goal of becoming a green city for sustainable, prosperous development. We turn to other news. The Provincial Road 922 and 919 sections passing through Thalai and Godot districts have a high density of vehicles. However, because the road has not been installed with a complete sideboard system, there is no lighting system, so traffic accidents often happen. In order to reduce the number of accidents, the Section on Land Traffic Management, Gang Thai Department of Transport, has just installed speed reducers on these two roads. The driver of a vehicle that collides with a box mounted under the road will automatically slow down and observe the surroundings. This is also a measure to prevent the driver from falling asleep while driving. Along with the installation of speed reducers to ensure smooth traffic, the section of waterway traffic management also conducts clearing on provincial roads passing through Gang Thai area. Tupnok Athletic City has just coordinated with the Chamber of Education and Training of its district to organize propaganda on saving Athletic City associated with learning knowledge about the self and economical use of Athletic City for students of Trung Ping and Tung Hung Secondary Schools. 
Besides, students are conveyed the content related to the reason why it is necessary to save electricity and measures to effectively save electricity. The students of the two schools also participated in asking and answering questions from the functional sector about their knowledge and understanding of implementing economical, safe and effective use of electricity from school to family activities thereby helping them to raise their awareness, become active propagandists in mobilizing the relatives, families and social communities to join hand to save electricity, avoid waste and well protect national resources. From the District Public Security Coordinated with the Joint Hands for Traffic Safety Fund, Traffic Newspaper of Bao Yao Tong and Traffic Safety Board of Kansas City to organize the handover of the House of Love in Tung Thoi Kamun. The house was given to the family of Miss Lady Kim Hai in Tung Long Bi Hamlet, Tung Thoi Kamun, with the difficult housing situations. The mother, Phạm Lê Công Tiến, who suffered a serious traffic accident, the rate of injury was high disability over 78%. The house was supported by the traffic newspaper of Bao Yao Thong, 50 million dong value. Since the beginning of the year, from the district, public security has campaigned to donate three houses of compassion to victims of particularly serious traffic accidents and housing difficulties with a total value of 150 million dong. Kansas City Writers Association released a collective book of 33 titles that are the words of writers and poets who are members of the association on the morning of September 19. Thirty-three titles were released in a variety of genres, including short stories, notes, poems, novels, and critical stories, with a topic of homeland country saunters in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, Westerners in general and Qatar City in particular, these are words written with live breathing, composed and compiled into books by writers and poets for a long time. This is the second time that the Qatar Writers Association has released a large number of dozens of books by many authors who are members of the association. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism has permitted the Spanish Embassy in Vietnam to hold an environmental film festival from September 23rd to October 7th in Hanoi, more to follow. The Environmental Film Festival will be open free for the public in a format both online and offline in Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City. The showcase will set the chance to raise awareness about environmental issues through two possible debates on women leaders depending nature and protecting biodiversity, sharing measures to save the future, as well as activities of the environment that are mentioned. Films are allowed to screen within the framework of the Environmental Film Festival after a decision of permission for dissemination is issued by the cinema department. Smart News. After nearly four days of tragic and exciting competition on the morning of September 19, the 12 National Defense Security Education Sports Games for students officially ended. Attending the closing ceremony and awarding the award were Mr. Winter King, Vice Chairman of Kansas City People's Committee and representatives of relevant departments and agencies. 345 amateur athletes are students of 39 teams representing 32 high schools, secondary schools with many levels of education and seven vocational education units and colleges in the city. They have made great efforts to compete and have devoted themselves to the sport games for exciting and dramatic moments in their competition contents. The organizing board awarded athletes and teams 262 first, second, third and consolation prizes with good results. The best team was awarded to Luhu Fuk High School and Gung Thơ Medical College. Coming up next, the weather forecast.
That song for continues to get to radio and television station. Thanks so much for your attention. Please visit our website, gantv.vn. Bye for now.